Okay, friends, it's time to get started on replacing our front grill. To do this, we'll start right up along the top. You're going to find two 10 millimeter headed bolts, one on the driver's side and one over on the passenger side. Go ahead and remove the pair. Once you have the center out, go ahead and pop out the outer portion as well. Put the two together and then do the same on the other side. There we are. Once you have both of those out, the next area that we're going to pay attention to is each of these corners right here. Same as before, on the driver's side and the passenger side, there's kind of a little clip. We're just going to use some long nose pliers, grab it from side to side. We'll gently squeeze on it and then draw this away. Next, we're going to start moving along the bottom of the grill. I'm going to show you on the new one what we're aiming for here. All along the bottom, you're going to find some clips that look just like this. You can see that they have a little tab. You just essentially want to go ahead and squeeze on that tab, lift it up a little bit, and then pry that out. Just reach in here, lift up on that, start sliding it out. Okay, so now we have that off of there, the next thing we want to do is transfer over our badge. To remove the badge, looking along the back side of the grill, you're going to find four locking tabs. To remove these tabs, what you want to do is go ahead and lift up on this outer tab right here, and then you just want to separate this area. That's going to be easiest using two tools, whatever tools you need to. I'm just going to use this one to get underneath there, pry it away. We'll go ahead and pry this away, and then gently press it down at the same time. Once you've got one done, continue on to the others. Okay. I'm just going to gently press this down and out of there. And now we can insert this into our new grill. Now we can start putting our badge on our brand new grill. To do that, you want to of course line up all four of your tabs with their corresponding holes and of course the little pitons as well. Just get it into position. Once it feels like it's lined up with where it needs to be, go ahead and press it in. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it's secure. Now it's time to install the grill. Let's go ahead and have a look at the back side here. All along the bottom, you have all of your press-in tabs. You want to make sure that those are lined up. But also, in each of the corners on either side, you also have another tab. Let's go ahead and carefully line this up with the, with the bumper cover. There we are. That feels pretty good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and press it in. We're listening for a click. Okay, get this one down here. Now once those are pressed in, let's also do the tops. Get that one locked in. Pop that one in as well. Now it's time for our push clips. Go ahead and line it up with the hole, press in the outer portion first, and then lock it in with the center. All right. 